If you saw my last video, Making the Music Stand, then you probably noticed I struggled a little bit with the clamping facilities that I had, or I've currently got on the bench. Now, as per the thumbnail, I am planning on replacing my bench, but I don't know what I want in my new bench yet. After watching a plethora of videos on YouTube for the various guys and gals have got an absolute wealth of clamping facilities and vices and everything under the sun, I, I'm in a state of confusion as to what I want. So I'm going to use this bench to experiment a bit. So the first thing I'm going to do is to extend the number, increase the number of dog holes that I've got in my bench so I can further utilize dog hole clamping accessories. Now, I made a video a while ago about using the UJK PARF guide system. So I'm going to use that to extend the holes. Because I use my bench for everything, the surface of it is once again completely covered in everything you can possibly think of. So I'm going to give that a sand down with the belt sander, which will allow me to see the holes that I pre-drilled. And then I'll use the path guide system again to extend the holes. Now, before I make merry with the 20 mil drill bit and reduce my bench into a pile of shavings and chippings, I thought I'd get the rails out and have a look and think about the placement. Because as I said in the beginning of the vid, this is a bit of an experiment, but I also don't want to completely destroy my bench top. So the kit I've chosen is the Craig Universal Clamp Track Kit. 2745 which refers to the imperial size of the two rails included in the kit and you get a cutesy little bag of bolts to go with it as well a couple of points to note to call these rails substantial is the understatement of the year they are well you could use it as a rounders bat if you wanted or a baseball to those across the pond they're over two inches wide, two and a quarter inches wide by five eighths of an inch thick. Or for those of us in metric, 56 mil by 17, 18 mil. So really solid and really weighty, which you'd kind of like them to be considering that you're going to clamp from them. So the clamps that I've chosen to go with these two rails which were extra they didn't come with the kit are these two little buttes one's a three inch reach and the other one's a six inch reach so bearing in mind that I'm going to extend the dog holes out which is going to cover this area of the bench for clamping I'm thinking that if I put the rail in the middle somewhat So I'm not sure whether to inset the large rail or start with the small rail and if I really like it move up to the large rail. I don't think the rail will go between the dog holes because it leaves very little room either side. So what I might do is lose that centre dog hole line which answers that question so i am going to go for the larger rail and i think i am going to sight that right in the center of the bench and lose that row now with these rails you can't bolt down through into the bench top you've got to come up from underneath which means i'm going to have to slide it in from the outside because there's no access to the bolts from the top so i'll come in from this end the other thing that's just struck me is I'm going to have to be a lot cleaner, a lot more prepared with my glue ups now. Maybe brown paper or some kind of 
coverall sheet as I don't want to have glue drippings all over this beautiful blue aluminium rail. So let's get laid out to rate the channel. So I've got my rail clamped in place where I want it. I've got my router in position so that the furthest part of the point is right on my line. I've set my depth to cut. I managed to find a piece of 18 mil ply that was exactly the same height which I've used to set the depth stop. Dust extraction's connected. Got my muffs, good to go. I laid out for all the bolt holes as per the manual, inch and a half in from each end and then at six inch centres along the length of the rail. I used an awl to mark the exact point I wanted the hole at and then a seven or brad point drill bit to drill the holes. I wish I could say sliding the rail on was relatively easy, but I can't, because it wasn't. So a bit of a job sliding the rail in and then locking down all of the nuts from underneath the bench, but worth it, I think that is in there as solid as you like. Now I've adjusted the clamps, there's a little pressure adjustment a uh, knurled knob there that you can use to get it to the clamping pressure that you'd like and I'm really pleased with that I'm not sure how I feel about the blue swathe going right the way down to the bench but it's there as a functional aid so we'll see how we get on with it so next to the dog holes so the clever chaps at UJK or Axminster have designed this so that I can either use the dog holes that I've got to extend further along or if I don't have dog holes where I need them I can use the pins as pinholes as per the original layout and installation.
Well, that's enough dog holes for now. I'm quite happy with the coverage I've got, but time will tell. Now on to the clamps. So the only clamps I've got to utilize the dog holes and the rail are what you currently see on the bench. The two that I mentioned earlier, the three inch and the six inch reach um, Automax clamps from Craig. And I also have these two dog hole clamps from Axminster, which you've seen me use in previous videos, I hope. There are some others on the market which I'm really interested to try and I'm going to order those and experiment with them and then I'll come back and I'll tell you how I'm getting on with the rail and which of the clamps I prefer and why. So I hope you'll come back and join me for that. Thank you very much indeed for watching and see you next time. Ta-ra.